Good morning, guys. I am catching up. I swear, I'm spending my time right now catching up on editing and uploading. I just got the... I think it was the first... Yeah, I got the first up just now. I made new channel art for February, and I, I like it. It has a different feel, and that's what I'm trying to do is change my YouTube art. Um, at least a new theme every month. The first is still the same because um, I have I did not have the time to throw together a new one. Yesterday is exporting as we speak. I got to make a thumbnail for that and upload it. No, not yesterday. This is the this is the second. I still have to upload this, and then I've got to edit the third, which was yesterday. So I'm a couple days behind, but I'm trying to spend my time productively this morning by catching up. Um, it's just kind of what happens um, when you work six to two in the morning, or you have cr a crazy non-consistent non -consistent schedule like I do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm exhausted. Um, I slept from probably 2 in the morning till 9, so I got a decent amount of sleep. I don't feel awful, um, but I am trying to spend my time wisely by catching up because I don't even know what day I'm on, apparently. Uh, so yeah, the second is exporting. I got to edit yesterday, export that. I got to make a thumbnail for both, get them uploaded, hopefully before I leave for work. It's only 10.30. I don't have work till 6, so I don't see why that would be an issue but I don't want to spend my entire time on my computer like I want to go do other stuff okay we are officially almost caught up I edited yesterday's vlog it is officially exporting <clears throat> I still have to upload I think the day before this is why I don't like falling behind on vlogs because then I have no idea where I'm at and when I'm trying to explain stuff, yes, I still have to upload the second and then I have to upload yesterday's and then I will officially be caught up. It is now 11 o'clock. I've been sitting at my computer editing for a little over two hours now. Um, but that's what you get when you fall behind, but unfortunately I can't really help that because I have to prioritize work over my side hobby of YouTube. <coughs> Sorry, my sinuses are being very weird again today. It's the whole fluctuation between being warm in the house and being cold outside. It just makes my sinuses stuff up and then drain. It's very annoying. Yesterday went okay. Um, and the vlog ended very abruptly because I did have something very important to do. I had to get my taxes done. Um, for many reasons, obviously, legally, I have to do my taxes. I do not want to get in trouble for that. But also, I need the money, especially right now when we're in our slow season and, you know, we're getting sent home early. We can't work our full, you know, 40 hours or whatever. Like, it's hard on the paycheck. It is. I mean, I'm not living on ends meet, thankfully, um, but it's a lot harder, um, when I'm getting my full-time hours as a manager, my paychecks are good. You know, I can pay all my bills and put gas in my car and get groceries and still have money left over. But when I'm not working my full-time hours, I have enough money for my bills and my food um, and like to put gas in my car, but that's about it. I don't really have money, fun money to do anything with. I don't have a savings. Um, and that's another reason I wanted to get my taxes done as quickly as I could, which we did. Um, thank God. I've got a decent amount of money coming back. Uh, not as much as last year, um, but it's still more than what I was anticipating. And half of that, regardless, is going into my savings account because I hate not having a savings. Um, I don't have a credit card or anything like that. I know I should probably get one eventually. I just I don't like the idea of having a credit card. It freaks me out. Not saying I'd be irresponsible with it, but stupid stuff happens with credit cards all the time, and it's just like, I don't really want one. Um, but in certain situations, like where I find myself begging people for gas money, it would be easy to have a credit card, but half of my tax return, regardless, is going into my savings account. I'm 
going to do everything in my power not to touch it. In fact, I would prefer to build on it. Um, but it's just going to be there as a cushion in case I have to use it for something or an emergency pops up or my paychecks aren't as big and I don't have the money I need to do something or, you know, get groceries or gas or whatever. Uh, but I'm not going to get that till about the 26th of this month. So I still got like 22 days before I can do that. Something like that. It could come a little bit earlier, um, but the latest is the 26th. But I went over to Peter's house and did my taxes and that took up a lot of time. And then I just went straight from his house to work. And then I did my, my six to freaking late shift. And then I came home and I crashed almost instantaneously and I just slept. I feel like I slept okay. Nothing bad happened yesterday at work. I'm just not a fan of staying up that late. Um, I'm more of a morning person. I've kind of explained that before. Like, even though I'm kind of eh, in the morning, it takes me a while to wake up. I prefer to be a morning person. I don't like waking up so late because I feel like I've wasted a huge chunk of my day that I could be doing something productive. Um, and I don't know, I just, I feel like my day is shorter and I don't have as much time to do stuff that I wanna do. Um, I do miss being on a consistent schedule. Um, like when I was working 7 a.m. to 3, I knew that that was my schedule so I could plan everything else out after work or before work even though usually I didn't do anything considering I had to be up at like four in the morning <coughs> I had the option of having a routine now I could work six to two in the morning or I could work eight in the morning to 5 p.m. or I could work 11 to 6 or I could do a closing shift like I don't really know that's a thing um, so I have to plan my routine and anything I want to do whether it be vlogging or going to the gym or running an errand, you know, I have to plan that out around my work schedule. <clears throat> That's completely non-consistent. So it, it's kind of hard, but at the same time, I feel like if I was doing the same shift every single day, that I would feel like I was in a rut. Okay, yay. I can officially say that we are completely caught up on vlogs. We are currently on today. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall behind like that again, but I can't really predict that. Um, my biggest problem was staying consistent as far as uploading um, the day before the next day. Um, really has to do with work. Um, obviously I'm gonna prioritize any kind of chores that I have to do around the apartment. I'm gonna prioritize my job. Yesterday I was prioritizing taxes and my job. Um, so. I didn't really um, think about vlogging, I guess, because uh, I had more important things to do than a side hobby as much as I enjoy vlogging. But we are officially caught up in clearing out some space on my computer because uh, I have a really bad habit of saving all my screenshots and thumbnails and crap. Um, and like, storing the day before's vlog on my computer and then forgetting to delete it once it's uploaded. And that was my, basically my biggest thing today, um, was catching up on all my vlogs and now I'm clearing out old clips and crap on my computer that I clearly don't need. All right, so I've decided I'm gonna go to the gym anyway. Um, I've spent probably three hours on my computer catching up, editing, exporting, creating thumbnails, all that other stuff, and now that we're caught up on all the vlogs, I feel a little lethargic today, and I think it's just because I spent basically my entire morning from when I've woken up to this clip stagnant at my computer. Um, I feel like if I go to the gym that, you know, getting my muscles moving, blood pumping through my organs and my brain, you know, get my heart going that, you know, I'll wake up a little bit more and uh, feel a little bit better. Okay, we're officially on the road heading to the gym. I was just thinking about something that, like, it's, it's kind of a philosophy that I learned from other people on YouTube, but 
it is so true at the same time like when you don't feel like doing something it is the best time to make yourself do it and I know I've said that before but it is so true because the you know the times that you don't want to go to the gym and work out even though you know it's good for you and it'll benefit your life and your health and that you'll probably feel better and be less stressed out throughout the day <clears throat> and sleep better at night um, sometimes you just wake up and you don't want to go to the gym or you go throughout your day and you don't want to do anything but sit on your butt and be lazy and eat food and those are the days and the times where you just have to say, you know what, no, I'm not going to give in to being lazy. I'm not going to give in to being lethargic. Like, at the end of the day, you know, even though you might feel like, oh, yeah, I don't have to do anything today and I can just purely relax and be lazy, that when you finally do, um, like, at the end of the day you look back and you're like, okay, well, what did I do today? Well, I went to work, duh, but what else did I do? And if your answer is sit around all day, you know, eating food and not doing anything productive, even if it's just, it's like the same thing goes with like house chores. I like having a clean apartment, but I don't always like cleaning my apartment. And that's the big thing is sometimes I don't feel like doing the dishes. Sometimes I don't feel like sweeping and mopping the floor. I certainly never feel like folding my laundry, but because I don't want to do it, I make myself do it anyway because it's fighting against the laziness and being unproductive and wasting your time essentially. And I don't like going, you know, getting to the end of my day, laying in bed, whether it was a day off or I had work that day, I don't like to lay there and you know recap on my day and be like well I sat on my butt all day and then went to work like it's not really the kind of life I want to lead and I made it very very clear that I want to live a healthier lifestyle not necessarily for anybody else or to look good or whatever even though that is a bonus looking good is a bonus I miss the the confidence of knowing that I was doing my best to take care of myself and you know being able to look in the mirror and see a strong healthy high energy natural energy person and not somebody that's constantly relying on caffeine and nicotine and power naps like I was doing really really well for myself um, when I first moved back here I was at my lowest weight which you know was nice but it was the natural energy and the confidence and the peace I had within myself that I was taking care of myself the best I could and I was eating healthy and I just I felt really good and it's just something that comes out of working out and eating healthy is you it does really help your happiness and your confidence <clears throat> and I want to get back to a place like that again I mean I feel a lot better than when I'm not going to the gym but I'm still going through that stage of having to kind of kick myself in the butt and force myself to go to the gym because if I don't just say you know what cut the crap Liz you're going to the gym and I don't force myself to get dressed and I don't force myself to start warming up my car I guarantee you I would sit in front of my computer all day play games or watch videos or talk to my friend and just eat crap you know and I don't want to live that lifestyle because all that's going to do is make me even more lethargic and treat my body like crap it's like I only have one body and I want to take care of it I mean I have never body shamed myself or at least not I don't do that anymore because I realize how destructive it was when I was younger such as my whole yo-yo dieting phase from when I was 16 to probably just like last year not really last year, but like probably the year before. And that did not put me in a healthy place mentally, emotionally, physically. I was the heaviest I'd ever weighed. I was nothing but lethargic. My skin was terrible. I was having trouble breathing just walking up the steps. Like I had no energy. I was so reliant on coffee and energy drinks 
just to get me through my day. I wasn't sleeping as well. I didn't have any real natural energy. And I spent most of my days being incredibly lazy just sitting at my computer. And I don't want to live like that anymore. And I never want to go back to living like that. That's for damn sure. So that's the reason I go to the gym. Because I remember what I felt like when I wasn't going. And what I did to myself. And how I saw myself and felt about myself. But I do remind myself, without body shaming myself, how I didn't feel like I looked good. I didn't feel good. I wasn't happy. I was pretty miserable being unhealthy and eating like crap and just turning to food, nicotine, and energy drinks to get me through my day. I don't want to live like that anymore. So when I'm having days where I feel like that's all I want to do, I force myself to get up, get out of bed, do something productive, whether it's house chores, uh work, going to the gym, I try not to give myself excuses anymore because I want to be happy, I want to be healthy, and I want to take care of myself. Anyway, we're at the gym, so I'm going to go work out. Okay, so we have successfully been to the gym. I was there for, I'd say, an hour. Um, probably an hour and ten minutes, but I'm just going to say an hour. Oh, got my cardio in, got some leg work, ab work done pretty low on energy which kind of sucks but hey I went to the gym I worked out I did something so that's all that matters even even the littlest workouts will benefit your body if you stay on top of it oh we I have to admit though being on this weird schedule like having to work six to two in the morning and then six to two in the morning it's like I end up sleeping in and even though I get good sleep, like I'm pretty sure I slept good last night. I, I don't remember waking up or anything like that. And I didn't get out of bed till like nine, but I still feel tired like I could take a nap or something. But I also feel awake at the same time because I went to the gym and I got, you know, my body moving and blood, blood pumping. <laughs> I gotta go to the gas station and I'm gonna go home either shower and eat or eat and shower it really depends I mean I'm hungry and I haven't eaten anything today and it's two o'clock so I should probably get on top of that yay chicken salad after the gym Whew, I haven't eaten yet today so I went to the gas station and picked myself up a salad because I honestly don't have the energy to prep food but I still want to eat healthy because to me there's no point in coming back here and cooking something that's unhealthy and when I don't feel like actually cooking chicken and prepping a salad. I, so I took the lazy route and I went to the gas station and I got a chicken salad. Um, but still healthier than something else I could be eating right now like pizza or cereal or tomato soup or something that I can make in five minutes because I'm tired and feeling lazy. It is now almost 2.30. I'm going to eat, jump in the shower and get dressed for the day and go from there. Well, we are showered, dressed, ready for work. Oh, man. I was just talking to my friend about how in an ideal situation or like if I could have my way with my schedule and my routine that instead of, you know, currently be getting ready for work and, you know, about to stay up super late past when I would ever actually want to be awake, you know, doing something strenuous and stressful that late at night. I would, in my perfect world, be coming home from work right now or, um, you know, the gym or whatever errands I'd be running to come home, take a shower, make tea, make myself something good to eat, would be reading my book, vlogging, um, you know, just relaxing and settling down from the day, not be getting ready to go to work. I am already tired. So I know I am going to be very tired tonight, but it is Sunday and it is the Super Bowl. So hopefully that keeps people inside and we're not that busy um, because I know I'm going to be tired, even though I'm very happy that I spent the time catching up on editing and uploading and we're back on track with that. And, you know, I did go to the gym and I feel good about that. And I had a healthy lunch and I feel good about that. You know, and my, my mind and my body is in a pretty good place right now. I am physically tired and that does affect you mentally the longer you 
stay up when you're tired and force yourself to do stuff and be active. It's not really fun or an ideal way to spend your time. So I'm going to be very tired tonight, but maybe I'll go to work and get myself an iced coffee or something to perk me up a little bit. Um, I'm going to do my best regardless, you know, do my job and eventually come home. I have the next two days off, so I just got to get through tonight and I'll have the next two days off to have my routine, do whatever I want to do, whether it's relax or be super active. I'll be able to do what I want on my own time and that's going to be the plan. But for now, I got to go to work, so I will talk to you guys later. Alrighty, we are home, safe and sound. <laughs> warm in pajamas thank god uh tonight actually didn't go that bad it was super super slow um but i did end up having to help one of our managers in training do her post shift and that kept me at work later than i wanted to be so i am definitely glad to be home and have reached my two days off so <sighs> hopefully these next two days can be a little bit more interesting vlog wise than you know last week i guess <laughs>